Welcome. I had an idea on how to change my oil and I totally forgot what I was going to do. I'm on 40,143 miles. That's what I was going to do. My next oil change is going to be 10,000 miles at 50,000 miles. That's when we're going to change. So what we're going to do now is position my car, get it up on the stands, and get underneath in the dead of winter. See how long it takes for me to edit the video or to change the oil. You got no clue? Watch many of my videos. You'll find the clue where this jack goes. It's all the way under to the center of the car's carriage. Also over here you got the jack stands goes to where the emergency area is at. I'm going to do one more thing for you. Get a level. A reminder for all. Four inches right here. You have your emergency where you put your scissors jacks and all the way over there that's where you put your floor jack. Doing this the unconventional way. I am taking my cap off. Oh, look at all the oil. Look at all the moisture, the dirt. I'm leaving it right here. There's my dipstick. I'm lifting it up, leaving it just covering. And I am with a 9 in 1 Husky Home Depot. And with a ratchet 10 millimeter, taking off my lower splash shield undercarriage that protects part of my engine from being clean. What you see here dirty is this right here, missing the area why it's always dirty. Feel free to count along with me. One, two, three, four, five six seven about eight pieces of parts to take off and a handle right here let's get going i lost a couple of pieces i am not going to worry about it this looks like a giant screw one Two, item 97608, my first time using it, I'm taking off the plug, and I think I said uh, we need to put it in this particular way, this way the oil can hit it, the higher end is in the back, I put a towel on the floor just in case. And let me make sure it's level before I start to do my work. I got my 17 millimeter lefty loosey righty tidy. I don't think I'm comfortable today. I'm off, just like so. I got a bag of washers and drain plug. So I am going to slide back and forth. I'm not wearing gloves. I can't put a pair of gloves on instead of winter. I'm comfortable working. I don't want to get my hands in the camera's view. So here we go. Watch the oil come out. It's not super hot. It's warmed up enough so it can flow freely. Here we go. So my drain plug is to the side. My washer may have fell off. Here it is.
I'll wash you. Oh, fish. Please, 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 please. Don't use the old washer. My concentration right now is on the oil. That's doing a mighty fine job. The oil going into the actual container. I'm surprised. As I'm looking for a new crush wash and watching the oil. I want one crush washer only on. There's the new one on three cents <laughs> save your money buddy many people are going to argue oh my god fish does it smell like gas <sighs> my garage smells like gas because of the snow thrower this don't smell at all like gas oil dilution I'm allowed on CRVOC to talk all about oil dilution. You are not. Oh my lord. You're going to hear this to the very end. You can get banned for saying oil dilution on CRVOC. I wish them the best in the world. I'm still dripping. You can sit here all day and wait for the last 5.7 quarts of oil to come out. I'm on. I want to now tighten up my plug. How tight? Torque spec, about up to 30 pounds. I'm tight. My washer crushed. I had a rig. Oh, that's a problem. I got oil leak. I'll clean it up. Here is my oil filter. By hand, I wish you the best of luck in this world. My strong days are over. It's moving real, real slow. I'm placing my wrench. Lefty loosey righty tidy. <laughs> Underneath, making sure. I'm lining up real slow I go how slow can you go Drip on me, please. Drip, drip. So I take my hand and I go here and I take the old oil. I don't take new oil, I take old. I'm all done here. So let me get my container out of the way. And upstairs. Let me get my 
oil filter on. It's going to take me some time to get it on correctly. With my hand, if it was clean, I could get a nice grip. I'm comfortable. I will make sure for me, my car, not yours, a nice gentle turn. I'm happy. I'm done. Now I got to put everything on. Really that simple. Oh, there was my filter right in front of me. We had a discussion that a member got banned because I don't want to hear anybody's opinion about oil changes. He had a leak over here. Well, don't start to tighten these bolts because you don't know what's going to happen. So maybe it was your transmission that dripped. And you're talking about oil. I don't know. I really don't know. This is a cover. Where can my transmission cable B. Oh boy, am I going to have fun looking for that. I could sit here all day. I could clean this up and put a nice luster on it. This is my actual Pittsburgh new container. I'll put this away. I need to clean my oil. This is what I did not want to do. I did not want to start to clean things up. So now my oil is all clean. All right. Not bad at all. I like the container. I just don't love it. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't stand straight. So now I can drain my oil out. There you go. Good job. This is my oil cleaning rig for now. Let's go put this away. Is there some type of order to put this hand back on? Yeah. Find the hole in the back first. Make sure you drop everything, all the washers and things. Slide it on top. And make sure you put it on the right way. Take your 10 millimeter bolt, grease it up, and work on the very back. This is SAE OW20. This is where we put our flow I use for me, SAE OW20 US BP, ooh, they recommend it. Right there, look, BP. I got four quarts, 3.7 goes in. I'm all done. My paper goes back on. I 
put my cap back on. Not super duper tight. My dipstick. I'll check my oil in three minutes time. I'll let the car run some. Settle down some. Check my oil. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start my car. All this time, home won't work until you hit the notification. Oh man, I know my radio's off. Back, swipe. Settings, vehicle, what am I looking for? Maintenance information, oil and filter, 15% life, 15% life. What is on the actual dash? Maintenance due soon. I'm yelling at myself. If I hit this right here, and I hit these right here, to the wrench, oil life 15%. I had... 15% left. Since it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I hit the oil. Oh, well, you got to hit select reset items. Do not hit all do items. Hit B, oil and filter. You got to talk like a baby. Forty thousand one hundred and forty three miles at fifty thousand. My oil will now get changed. Let me give it some time for the oil to get back in to the pan. The most difficult part for us to do is see this orange dipstick. I don't even bother to look at the very first one. I cleaned my oil. I put it back in its hole. One, two, three. You're not going to see it on camera, nor am I going to see it here. I see the bottom. I see where it lies on top. I press my towel right there, baby. See all the oil? Oh, it looks like it's on the bottom the most. People are going to argue to death about oil. They're the ones that know more than I do. On the towel, I fold, I look, I'm happy. I don't add, I don't take away. Hardest part is that dipstick. If you feel that you need to add more, please, by all means, don't let me stop you. I showed you how simple it is to prepare the car, get the jack stand underneath, and work safely. I showed you how to take the plug off, how to take the filter off and put the plug back on and the filter back on. I showed you how to put everything back on with the pan and added the oil and reset the unit, letting the car run some. 
I did pre-warm the car up a little bit, about the same amount of time as I did to show you to reset. I had to move the car. I've done a thousand of these oil changes in every different scenario that possible. The Pittsburgh container. Thank you very much, CRVOC, the member who suggested to get a Pittsburgh container. I'm very pleased with it. You could say that's the topic of this oil change. If you have your fifth generation, fourth generation, third, second, first, or any car that needs to change the oil, follow the very simple oil change videos out there, and you'll get the job done. It is you that makes the rating possible. So on that note, I really appreciate your time. Please rate, comment, show some Great day, everybody. I'll get under with the hose. I give a nice, gentle spray. That's it. My undercarriage is clean.